The purpose of Rubicon is, is easier to explain if you start with Dali. We believe that with better sound you get a better life. And when you base your actions on that, a lot of the things we've done in Rubicon makes absolute sense. We've taken a lot of the ideas that we introduced in the Epicon and said, how can we get 90% of that at a reasonable price and introduce it into a loudspeaker that will uh, be obtainable for, for a larger part of the audience. We have made our own factory uh, back in 1983. Um, a product like Rubicon is in the sweet spot for production in a factory like this. I, I don't think we could have found suppliers that would be willing and able to put that uh, engineering power into developing uh, loudspeakers and build up that production setup that we needed uh, for manufacturing these uh, drivers. We had to do it ourselves and it's been learning and it's been great fun. For the last three years we have made uh, a production for the Epicon series. We are running about uh, 20, 28 pieces per day and now we have uh, expanded the, the area and so we can uh, meet the production for the uh, Rubicon series. Our products are getting more and more complicated, so our product testing follows. Our products are a, a special mix of audio and, and, and wood and, and metal and plastic. And this is a blend where there are no uh, finished standards that we can just pick and use. Actually, we have taken all our knowledge uh, about cabinet construction uh, and put it into this Rubicon speaker. And we have created the perfect environment for the drivers. And at the same time, we have created an elegant and clean outer look uh, with the sense for details in the drivers. This is basically what the Rubicon design is about. If you look at the LCI specifically, Having base ports in the front uh, doesn't always add to the look and feel of the product. So what we got here is a more sleek, elegant design because we can keep the front free of, of, of base port and then just you know use the back to ventilate the, uh, the sound out that way. I have to admit, in, in the start it was a matter of how do we place a port which will work well on a shallow loudspeaker close to the wall. Uh, when you're listening to it, it's, uh, it's, uh, the sound performance is outstanding. If you ask me. <laughs> the use of SMC in the magnet system has a major influence on, on the sound. It really um, lowers distortion in, in a degree that was surprising to me just a few years ago. The, the dome tweeter is very close to the Epicon. It's the same diaphragm, it's the same magnetic uh, construction, same rear chamber. It's uh, definitely a, a, a typical Dali uh, sound. If you hear a singer, you believe that the singer is just in front of you. It is the beginning of, 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 of the high-end um, area, uh, but you do get a lot more than just, than just the beginning. For me, high-end is simply a level of hi-fi where, for example, the record producer will hear his own recording and realize that it's better than he thought. And, and that's, that is what we want to do with the Rubicon. To bring us that close to the Epicon, that has been an achievement. I think we can be proud of that. <laughs>